Well, hey, Man Caveans, this is Bob from the Bob Zenscale Man Cave. And do I love cabooses? Yes, I do. Especially this Atlas Bay Window Caboose in Steam Service in Union Pacific Colors. There's a bunch of other road names as well. And we're going to take a look at this model right now. This is the N-Scale Master Line Freight Car Series. You can pick this up at your local hobby shop. This one's around uh, $27.99. Uh, MSRP is $34.95. It comes in a standard uh, jewel case, which just basically slides right off, like you're probably used to. Pull the top off, and it comes out pretty easily. Well, here we are with a nice caboose. It doesn't look like a normal caboose that you probably have seen out there before that you have grown accustomed to with that uh, cupola up on top of the caboose. These are on the side, so they have a bay window. It's basically jutting out from the side of the caboose so that uh, the railroad uh, workers can sit inside the bay window and look up and down the train a little bit easier. They can see the sides and everything else and see the problems, especially around curves and so forth. And so uh, it gives them a different perspective and they also uh, probably makes it a little bit easier to uh, maintain as well. Uh, this one is a steam service version and it stands out from the other ones because it has a UPP on it and these letters are a little bit bigger. Uh, probably the paint scheme is just a little bit different as well. Um, it's got a uh, brake wheel on the inside on either end and that is uh, obviously prototypical. Uh, it does not have metal wheels but it is they are plastic wheels. Uh, AccuRail, AccuMate kind of couplers and uh, of course that little uh, a smokestack up on top for the the heater and the stove and uh, it looks pretty good um, I do like it it uh, looks pretty accurate and there's many many other versions as well like Rock Island and and uh, Kansas City Southern there's a, there's a whole bunch of other road names you can also obtain from uh, your local retailer or favorite web store but Anyway, uh, this is a, a nice uh, addition to the Atlas Rolling Stock line. And it's in the master line, so it is uh, more detailed than you would normally see on some other uh, rolling stock. Uh, on the top, you can tell there's a ribbing up here. You can hear it right there. And you can see the bay windows sticking out from the sides, basically the little cheeks. And the bottom is uh, detailed as well with uh, some uh, items down here, some air tanks and so forth. It doesn't have a lot, it doesn't have any airlines going back and forth for any reasons, but uh, standard bottom of the rail car. I have some more deep. I've seen more detailed ones, but uh, this is not too bad, and it's going to look really good on the railroad. And as you can see, the close-up looks pretty good. You can see the. The hand wheel back there for the brake. There's one on each end. You can read the lettering on the side pretty easily. And we got the end here.
pretty well detailed. It is a master line after all, so it's uh, uh, got that extra detail added in there. Nice uh, bay window. Uh, the one thing I notice is the, the glass in the windows doesn't look very flat. It's, it's kind of bumpy, the molded in kind of look to it. Um, that's probably the only thing I really notice. It's just uh, kind of um, thick kind of looking. But uh, all in all, it is N-scale and it looks pretty good from a distance. And that's all that really matters, right? Some of the other road names are Union Pacific, the Steam Service one, and a regular uh, caboose. You also have the CNW, Frisco, Rock Island, Milwaukee Road, Kansas City Southern, and also there was a Conrail as well. So we've reached the end of this video, or the caboose of this video. Since it's at the end, this is very fitting. This uh, bay window caboose from Atlas is uh, very good. I give it an A- on uh, the quality and everything else. There's a couple little issues that kind of just didn't agree with the detail. You know, some of the windows seemed a little, uh, you know, not flat and uh, some of the detail on the bottom just wasn't there but you really can't tell from a distance on your layout anyway it's in end scale you get up there real close to the magnifying glass you rivet counters you and uh, yeah you'll be able to tell some some differences and issues but you know it's a model and it's a pretty good model at that so we're going to take a look at this thing running behind a steam locomotive at the end of the video and uh, you know if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Click that bell down below to get uh, notified of future videos. And consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, as always, Mancavians, happy model railroading. Stay off those tracks. Bye.